Outside Islam's holiest site in Mecca. Inside, King Abdullah, whose titles include custodian of the two holy mosques, receives his visitors. He is the son of the kingdom's founder, but at 83, he's still active and as clear-minded as ever. And as I found when I interviewed him in his palace in Jeddah, he doesn't mince his words, particularly about terrorism. I believe uh, most countries are not uh, taking this issue too seriously, including, unfortunately, Great Britain. We have sent information to Great Britain before the terrorist attacks in Britain, um, but unfortunately no action was taken, and uh, it may have been able to maybe avert uh, the tragedy. Information about a specific incident or, or just in general? Getting into details on this issue will uh, make, make cause sensitivities between the security services in our two friendly countries. So I will leave it uh, by saying that we have uh, provided information. Then we turned to Saudi Arabia's own record. Had it defeated Al-Qaeda here, I asked. No, it has not been completely defeated. I believe, and I've said so in my, in my public comments, uh, that it will take 20 to 30 years to defeat the scourge of terrorism with vigilant effort. Saudi society is changing, but it's a slow process. You still don't see women behind the wheel. They're forbidden to drive, and this is becoming an important issue here. The king is an instinctive reformer, but he's got a delicate balancing act to maintain. This is, after all, a deeply conservative society, which is governed by Sharia law. I believe that with regards to the future, uh, God knows only what will happen. But I'm optimistic that uh, the, the role of women uh, in our society will become more pronounced. So in 20 years' time, for instance, Saudi Arabia might be a very different country from what it is today. I believe it will be a very different country when it comes to buildings and roads and infrastructure, but I do not believe that it will be uh, much different with regards to the, the mentality or the principles and beliefs of its people. The king is both head of state here in Saudi Arabia and head of government. That means that anything he says publicly becomes Saudi policy. So when I wanted to talk to him about the difficult subject of how America has acted in Iraq and whether it should bomb Iran, he wouldn't answer. He said he didn't want to be either evasive or dishonest with me. I had the strong impression that he felt so powerfully about both subjects, he thought it would just cause difficulties if he spoke about them. And so the foreign minister, Prince Saud, who after 30 years in the job knows diplomatic speak very well, was deputed to answer the difficult questions instead. I went to see him in his palace by the sea and asked him first about Iraq. This crisis cannot not be seen as um, having beneficiary. If uh, Iraq, God forbid, is... Uh, is divided, it will uh, do injury even to Iran. Uh, this uh, fire fighting inside Iraq will most probably suck in the, p the countries of the region into that struggle, and that, uh, the, God forbid, would be a tragedy of, of tremendous consequence. But the U.S. Senate recently seemed to vote in favor of dividing Iraq into three. I think that is a, a, a very foolish thing to, to play around with. Can I turn now to a, a, another neighboring country, um, to Iran? There's a increasing, an increasing feeling in, in the United States that at least it's the possibility of an American attack on Iran is, is growing. Force, it's like uh, the 
perennial example of a bull in a china shop. Uh, you may destroy more than what you can gain by uh, having a military action. So I if the United States were to attack Iran, Saudi Arabia, among other countries, would suffer. I think the whole uh, Gulf region would, uh, would suffer, not just Saudi Arabia, and the international community. This country used to be an automatic knee-jerk ally of Britain and the United States. Not anymore. The invasion of Iraq in 2003 changed all that. The Saudis remain friendly, but they don't necessarily do what they're asked to do anymore. The government here thinks that the Americans are often dangerously wrong in their approach to this region, and nowadays the Saudis are prepared to show it. John Simpson, BBC News, Jeddah.